Hi guys, welcome back to another mukbang video. I decided to make a mukbang video today. And a mukbang video is something where somebody sits down somewhere, talks about something, and eats something as well. So I just went up to the to the restaurant up there and I got myself here a kebab. Gonna do a little bit like that, okay? Got myself a kebab with a uh, meat and a salad on it and some jalapenos. And I got myself here a mezzo mix. And we are gonna eat our kebab here. I'm gonna eat it with a knife and a fork because if you eat it with the hand like that, you're gonna get all dirty and, and you don't want your face to get dirty so I'm gonna open up the the what is it mitzo mix first then we're gonna open up the, the kebab and then we're gonna talk about something so there's our mitzo mix and now the kebab Throw that away, we're gonna need the uh, aluminium foil here. Alright, this is looking good guys. Just gonna grab it here and take it out of the aluminium foil. Now what people do is, they get the aluminium foil and they, they melt it inside a furnace and they pour, um, you can pour coins from this, if you, if you melt it right down, you can pour coins or what have you. I'm gonna take my kebab here out of the, the paper. All right. So here's the kebab that we are going to be eating. It's, what has it got on it? It's got um, red cabbage on it. It's got uh, some meat on it. Um, garlic sauce. What else is in there? We have a bit of a tomatoes in here. Paprika here. And uh, that's about it. So we have four or five components on here. We have we have meat, tomato, onions, red cabbage, white cabbage, and uh, garlic sauce. I think it's garlic sauce. They they told me it's yogurt sauce. But we're gonna start eating. I'm gonna take a take a sip of the mezzo mix. All right. I think I'm gonna pause the video here, I'm gonna get a bigger fork. So we'll be back. So we are back, bigger fork, bigger knife, because that little knife is not so sharp anymore. I don't think it's uh, that sharp, so I'm gonna try that knife first, and then I'm gonna, if that doesn't cut, I'm gonna take the bigger knife here because that is pretty sharp. All right, so let's see if that smaller knife will cut the kebab here. So about the shaking of the camera there while I'm cutting. Yeah, the smaller knife is cutting the kebab fine. So we're, we're gonna stick with this uh, trusty knife here.
Put a bit of tomato in here, a bit of, a bit of cabbage. Red cabbage, a red cabbage, tomatoes. That's all oh, good stuff. It's it's very, very healthy. I'm going to turn the camera here a little bit. So, so I'm kind of centered. Yeah, I was saying that that's all healthy stuff in there. Look at that, guys. We have a... Uh, whoop. We have a bit of tomato in here, white cabbage, and a slice of tomato. And there's the meat. So we're gonna put that big knife here aside. Don't need it. This knife here is still sort of sharp. I have to sharpen it here. I have um, a witch, a stone witch for sharpening for sharpening knives. I'll be back. All right. I'm gonna have to cut the pieces here a little bit smaller. You can see here the the jalapeno piece here. That it is jalapenos. They're not that sharp because those are not the sharp ones because those jalapenos they have been laying in uh, some type of uh, vinegar. Uh, some in some type of vinegar dressing that. Uh, comes with the jalapenos in a glass. You can get um, jalapenos in a glass, and uh, they have laid them in some kind of a some kind of vinegar um, dressing, I think. If it wasn't for if it wasn't for the meat on the kebab, I would call this a vegetarian kebab. Vegetarian kebabs, they're pretty, um, they're pretty good too, you know. See here, all the different types of vegetables on here. Yeah. <clears throat> so about the shaking of the camera here while I'm cutting. All right. So what do you guys want to talk about? We're going to be talking probably war robots. I'm, uh, I am back on the test server. Pixonic have come out with uh, three new weapons and, and a new module.
the Madra is Nitro unit and the three new weapons are Sneer, Skadi and Hell. The Sneer is a light weapon, the Skadi is a medium weapon and the Hell is a heavy weapon. So what the Nitro unit does it adds fifteen percent more speed to your to your robot. It says here increase speed by fifteen percent while you have seventy percent more HP. Three new weapons. Those are all energy weapons. They fire a beam of energy. Just like the, the iron cannon does. So I reckon that those three weapons are more or less uh, cannon type weapons. The nitro unit there, that stays active all the time. While you are battling with your robot, that module there stays active permanent. Now you can add um, each robot, well, the, the Orgy robot, the Typhon robot, those bots, they have four module slots. So in the first three slots, you can add the new module, which is the Nitro unit. So three times 15 is 45. So if you add three Nitro units into your three uh, module slots, you have 45% speed to your robot and 210 more HP to your robot as well. Which means uh, with 45% more speed, you can either get away from your enemy when he's shooting at you, or you can capture the center beacon, or you can uh, go into a fight real quick, shoot down your enemy and move back out. That is awesome, guys. That is something that Pixonic came out with uh, for, I think it's version 7 of the test server, I'm not sure about that, I have to check that out, but that, that is an, an awesome little module for doing a, a beacon run. Because you can uh, get in and out of, of a battle here real quick. Go into a battle, do a quick kill, and uh, rush back out again without without getting hit. Yeah. The Trino weapons are energy weapons. They have a range here of 600 meters. And they freeze up enemy robots as well. It slows them right down. Now I don't have have the full details here of the weapon weapons while I'm eating. I have explained the weapons on my 
video that I did today. I did a, a video on the a new on the new weapons here, the Sneer, Scaddy and Hen. I did a a review of those weapons today. And in that video those weapons are explained. What they are and what they do. I put those weapons here, the sneer and the the hell hell weapon I put those on the orgy robot here and they seem to work pretty good. Now I also put three natural units uh, units on the orgy. <laughs> this kebab tastes awesome. It's awesome, but it fills up pretty quick, guys. I think I got a bit of a hiccup there from eating it a little bit too quick, I think. <coughs> yeah, vegetarian. Kebabs are very, very healthy. I think uh, if you order a vegetarian one, you're on the right side rather than having to eat one with meat on it. Because vegetables seem seems to be a lot healthier than meat. The meat would be. I don't have their, their menu card with me today, otherwise I would have probably shown you the menu card from where I got the kebab here real quick. Uploading um, some farm sim videos lately. I've been uploading here uh, the Yukon Yukon River Valley map. It's called. I'm testing the map and I'm testing the the placeables that are on the map. Because um. You have some maps that you want to play, but not everything is working on them. So before you start playing on a on a modded map, you have to test everything out before you start playing. Otherwise, you will be playing on a map that's only half working, and 
and you, you don't want that. You, you don't want to play on a map that's only maybe half working or, or anything like that. So from now on, when I'm going to play on a map or when I want to start on a map, I'm going to, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to test everything to see if everything is working. We are almost done and we are almost uh, here finished with the video. And we, when we get done with the kebab we are going to say goodbye. <laughs> Oh yeah, um, on the 15th of this month, I think that was about four days ago, a new drone came out on the market. It's the DJI Mavic Air 2S. Yeah, that's the drone that came out on the 15th of this month, the DJI Mavic Air 2S, and I'm thinking, <coughs> I'm thinking of maybe buying that drone. That drone would have would cost me with the Fly More combo twelve hundred ninety nine dollars. So it's going to be close to thirteen hundred bucks. But now what DJI are claiming is that you need um, a license to be able to fly that drone because that drone weighs well over 250 grams. My guess is that that drone, now I forgot the number, that drone weighs over 500 grams because, because it's packed with... Um, with all the gimmicks, with all the new gimmicks that you that you want in a drone, and all those new gimmicks that they packed into that drone, that makes the drone very very heavy. So I'm guessing it's somewhere around 590 grams that drone will weigh, plus plus the the battery. So if I weigh the drone with the battery already inside, it's going to be 590 grams so that means a drone that weighs over 250 grams which is 500 grams or 590 grams that doesn't matter everything over 249 grams you need a drone license you need to make your license as well and then you have to pay insurance for your drone That is a new, a new law that came out in 2021. People who are flying professional drones 
are people who are professional drone flyers they need to make a drone license so that they can fly a drone which is which weighs 500 or more grams for the DJI Mini 2 that drone weighs 249 grams so you don't need a, a drone license for that every every drone that weighs under 250 grams you don't need a license but you have to what they what they require you to do is they require you to put a, a little tag on it with your with your name your address and your telephone number so once your drone gets lost or it's somewhere in the neighbor's garden and you can't find it and if your neighbor finds your drone he can uh, either call you up on your phone number or he can send you a, a little letter to your home address to let you know that he has found your drone but that that's that is here a new regulation since 2021 that you need a license for drones that are over 249 grams I think that license will have to, will have to cost you or it will cost you I think what is it I think it's 50 euro or something to make a drone license for the Mavic Air 2S because like I said over 500 grams and then you have to pay a monthly insurance fee which will also cost you I think it's a 49 euro monthly fee for your insurance to have your your drone insured just in case something happens just in case your drone might um, crash into your neighbor's house or into into somebody's car or if it will hit a person or something just in case your yeah that drone will get insured to um a drone insurance from the department of air transportation i think it is yeah it's going to be insured through the department of of air travel i think you can uh, correct me there if i'm wrong The both of them are the same transportation of air travel or department of air transportation and then with that license you're only allowed to fly 50 meters away with the drone only 50 meters with a small license if you want to make a bigger license that will cost you a little bit over a hundred euro and with that bigger license you are allowed to fly um, in your little town where you live you're allowed to fly over houses over other people's houses you're allowed to fly anywhere in in a public place if you have that big license with the small license you're only allowed to fly in non-public places so what they're practically saying is if you're a photographer and you want to make pictures in public with a drone you need the bigger license that you are allowed to fly in in a, in a public area and make um, to be able to make the, the photos or the videos but it depends what you're making you know if you're making a video or a photo of something that you want to maybe upload to your whatever you have on the internet there you have to make that bigger license first but insurance for the bigger license and the small license that will stay the same
just um, thinking about getting either the DJI Mini 2 where you don't need the license or the DJI Mavic Air 2S where you do need a license. <clears throat> so last piece here of the kebab I'm gonna eat this up and then we are done we are done So thanks for watching guys, let me know what you guys think in comments below of this video, might make another mukbang video another day, haven't made one for a while now, <coughs> so I thought I might make one today, so we are a little bit over a half an hour on this one. Thanks for watching and we will see you guys in the next one. Yeah.